This tutorial is meant to demonstrate how you can use Google Forms to create a digital assignment Dropbox. The concept here is that many teachers are starting to have their students produce work digitally through the use of tools like Google Apps, Web 2.0 tools, and a variety of other resources. So I was thinking about a nice easy way for the teachers to collect the links to all of the work in one nice easy way. So here's kind of what I was thinking about. Here's a form that asks the students to enter their name, ID number, choose the period that they're in, the assignment that they're submitting, and then a place for them to paste the link to their finished product. I also included a box for adding comments which was optional for the student. On the teacher side, you'll end up with a nice spreadsheet that includes the time and date stamp of when the work was submitted and then all of the other information that was submitted by the student. If you highlight the first row and turn on the filter, you can then easily filter this entire spreadsheet to look at just one assignment for one period or any other combination that you want. So for example, if I was only interested in reviewing assignment one for my first period class, I could do that. And then I would have a list of all of the links from all of my students that I could quickly click through to review and grade the students work. And then as another option, I added column H here, which is the score. So if I wanted to actually enter the score for the student, I could do that. Now the score was not part of the form. This only appears on the spreadsheet for the teacher. And then instead of creating separate forms for each assignment or each period, I can just do all of this in one by using the filters and then I can easily always go back to the form, go to the assignment question to edit it, and add the next assignment. Once I've saved that, I've basically updated my online digital assignment Dropbox form to include the next assignment. So this way, you could actually keep a running list of all the assignments, digital assignments, that you have assigned throughout the course of a year. Now let me walk you through creating this digital assignment Dropbox from scratch. So to start, I open up my Google Docs, go to Create, Form, I'll type in the name of the form that I'm creating. And then my first question, I want to ask for the student name and make that required. For my second question, I want the student's ID number and make that required. I also want to add a list for the periods that I'm teaching. This is going to allow me again to filter my results so that I can be looking at all of the work from just a particular period. I'm going to make that required. I'm going to add another item as a list that allows me to list all of the assignments. And this is going to be a, the item that I'm going to come back to throughout the school year to add new assignments to. I'm going to make that required. And then I'm going to add a place for the student to actually paste the link to their work and make that required. And lastly, I'm going to create a item for comments 
but I'm going to leave that optional. And then you can always choose a different theme to make it look a little bit different. But at this point, I'm just going to hit save. And then at the bottom, it shows me the link that I can use to copy and paste and provide to my students so that they can get to my digital assignment Dropbox. And then if I close these, you'll notice back in my Google Docs, I now have the digital assignment Dropbox spreadsheet created for me, waiting for the submissions from the students. The only two things that I would do from here is highlight row one and turn on the filter, which I demonstrated earlier. And then in row H, I'm going to add a score column so that I could actually be entering the scores for the students right here. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I hope some of you find value in it and will start using Google Forms to create your own digital assignment Dropbox. Thank you.